that squirrel out there? He has a nifty looking squirrel. Looks like some sort of little koala bear or something. Look at him. Good afternoon, everybody. Guess what I'm gonna make today? I'm gonna make some venison cabin chili. I didn't make any up to the cabin this year during deer season. I wanted to do it and video it, but I couldn't. And the reason being was I made some the day before I went up. And I was the only one up there. And it makes, I don't know, half a gallon probably, a little over a half a gallon of chili. So it's, uh, I ate chili for a long time by myself and I, I didn't have the need to make it again. Um, I'm gonna make it right now and it's going to be venison chili because my uh, good friend Jim Johnson gave me some venison from the nice deer that he got. It's like a picture of here if you don't care. picture of it. But um, anyways we're going to make venison chili. When, when I make chili I put typically whatever meat I have. Most of the time it's half beef, half pork sausage, bulk sausage that we get at Steve's Meat Market, a sage sausage. This time it's going to be um, packaged venison from Jim, about a half pound of breakfast sausage, uh, bulk sausage from the meat market, and about a pound of lean hamburgers. The other ingredients are chopped onions and peppers and canned stuff. And the reason for the canned stuff, yeah I know you probably make excellent chili with fresh ingredients. We're talking about deer camp, we're talking about the cabin, so we want to be able to take stuff up there. So here's the, I showed you the meat. The other thing we have is I've got a bag of about half thawed frozen onions and peppers. They're sweet peppers and onions. I've got a small can of green chilies. One soup can size of tomato sauce. I guess they're a little bit bigger than a soup can now because they keep making soup cans smaller. But just tomato sauce. And sometimes I use the big cans. This, I'm, I don't want this to be, I want this soup to be, the chili to be thicker, so I'm not gonna put the big can in. One can of tomato soup, whatever version or brand you want. Tomato soup's important. It's important because it, it tames wild tomatoes. Some of these, I, I don't care what tomatoes, canned tomatoes I buy, store brand or whatever, but some of them are a little bit sharp. So a can of tomato soup usually will take that little edge out of it. Two cans of stewed, sliced stewed Italian style tomatoes. And then I have two cans of light red kidney beans. Sometimes I use dark, doesn't matter. I don't use chili beans, kidney beans. What else have we got? Oh, there'll be a little bit of chili powder. So, let's get started. I pour the, some of my frozen peppers and onions out on a one of these stainless screens out of the air fryer. I like a lot of onions and peppers in my chili. I don't know, let's call that hmm, two cups, probably. Three cups, two cups. So they're they're frozen. So what I'm gonna do, just run some cold water over them. Okay, I'm gonna let that drain just a minute. Don't throw your paper towel away. You can rinse it out and use it again. I do. Pop it in the air fryer. Jeez, it's fairly clean. Amazing. I'm gonna put it in there for eight minutes. We'll check it at four. So while that's doing that, let's get started over here on the stove. This is my pan. It's a heavy bottom pan. I mean, it's heavy. When you turn water off in it, if you're boiling water or something in it, the bubbles take a little bit to stop. That tells me it's a good heavy pan. Okay, so 
What I'm going to do is just give that a splash of olive oil so the pan ain't dry. Start heating it up a little bit. Now I'm going to cook this meat from frozen. Reason being is, up at the cabin or if you're at deer camp, odds are it's either frozen or thawed out. And if it's frozen, you need to know how to cook it, and it ain't no big deal. I'm going to put my little, I'm guessing that's about a half pound sauce of sausage. If it didn't have pork in the venison, I probably would have used a pound of pork sausage and no beef. But since there's some pork in it, and I want this really thick, I'm going to mix this pet package of hamburger I got needs to be used up. It's been in the freezer long enough. Wow! That took me forever to find. Like that, that's a pampered chef dealie. I'm going to put some, uh, put a cover on that for a minute. It's on high. I want to get some temperature up in that pan. There's four minutes on our air fryer. Let's give it a check and see what's happening in there. Looking good, looking good. Let her finish up four more minutes. And the paper towel I saved, now I can wipe up all the drippings that just went on the floor from that. Back to the meat. So what I want to do, as this is froze, most of it froze, is I want to scrape it off the different species together so it's all mixed up. I gotta be truthful here. I wasn't originally gonna make venison chili because I forgot I had venison. I forgot that Jim had given me the venison. So, the venison is not thawed as much as the rest of the meat. So we're going to keep it on the bottom of the pan. Can you see what's going on in there? Probably not. That's what's going on. Alright, still on hot. Still on high. Let's cover it back up for a minute. Okay, hey, remember the paper towel I didn't throw away? I still got it. I folded it over and now I'm going to put my chopper on it so I don't get my counter dirty. Got a way of doing things. Nice, eh? Ooh, not on the burner. Yep, it ended over there. Let's check our venison first. Alright, let's turn that over, scrape that off, mix that up. That frozen hunk down on the bottom in the center of the pan again. That other stuff's about thought out. Alright, there we go. Okay, back over there. Um, you know what? Mix that up a little bit. I don't want to drip at this point. We're getting there. We're getting there, but I'm going to put that in for four more minutes. I want some little caramelization going on on there. I'm going to leave the lid off of this now. And I'm going to cover up that frozen hunk there because I want some of that moisture out of there. I don't, I don't, don't like all that moisture. Oh, back to the hot air fryer. It's about ready to kading. I'm thinking, hey, yeah, I know, but I am. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that uh, I'm not going to need to drain this. It's looking pretty good. And I need to know that. The reason I need to know that is, is um, it's been a good paper towel. I'm telling you, it's been a good paper towel. 
The reason I need to know this is because those peppers, if I'm not going to drain it, I'm going to just dump them right in there. And I ain't going to drain it. That's what I like to do. I like to roast them a little bit until I get some little nicks and a brown and caramelization on there. Then I'm not going to get all the liquid out of them peppers. They're going to hold their flavor, at least in theory. So, they're going in. Get out of it. Get in there. Get in there, onion. There we go. There's the peppers. You didn't see me putting them in there because um, I had the camera pointing at me. Wonderful. There's that can of green chilies. Okay, this is about the time when I put some ground pepper in it. How much? About that much. Some salt. Not a lot of salt. Ah! You hear the ah? The ah is because... Ah! Better. Okay. Yep, there's just a little bit of pink down in that burger yet. It's thawed now. So I'm going to start stirring this up. I don't like to chop chop it up real fine. I don't like real fine meat in my chili. I'd rather have find some hunks. All right, that's looking pretty good. So, two cans, light red kidney beans or dark red kidney beans. Your choice, drained. Two cans sliced stewed tomatoes, Italian style. It's, it doesn't have to be, but I like it. One can of soup, tomato soup. Pick your brand, that's what we got. And one can of sauce, just tomato sauce. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak over here to the sink and get me a dash of water. And the reason I get my dash of water is because I don't like to waste any of the tomatoey stuff in the cans. All right, let's pour that in there. All right, I'm gonna start turning this over. I'm gonna turn this temperature down. Now if this was like the day before a season, or the day before making this before I went up to the cabin, this would end up in quart jars or a half gallon jar in a quart jar. I think it won't fit in a half gallon jar. Okay, I've got one more ingredient. Chili powder. No, I don't put a lot in. I put, I'm gonna say, probably a, a tablespoon in that pot and the reason being is as I cook for people of all different kinds of um, tolerances to spice so this gives it all that chili flavor and everything and if I want mine hotter those chilies by the way I put in were mild chilies the peppers and onions were sweet peppers there's nothing hot about this until I decide to make my personal bowls hot. What I'll do is I'll put some jalapenos in them or something like that. Or I'll do something stupid like up the cabin when Harold and I put uh, some chilies we got from Steve B. Craft. Um, oh no, that wasn't in chili, was it? That was in jambalaya. And we made ourselves eat it for three days. It was wonderful. <laughs> so there you go, that's the chili. And see if I can zoom in there a little bit. Now I'm going to put the lid on it. I can't believe that I got this done before Tammy got home. I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to turn it down on low. And I'm going to let it 
simmer until uh, Tammy gets home. There you go, that's the chili. Um, usually everybody likes it. It's simple. It's, it's not really measured, but it is. It's measured because you put so many cans of stuff in it. If I want more chili, usually I put more uh, bigger can of tomato sauce in it. If I want a thicker chili, I put less of the can of tomato sauce and more meat in it. Um, two cans of beans, that's enough beans for anybody. The, I might actually put another can of stewed tomatoes in at times. Just look at it. Go with it. Eat it. It's good. Did you taste it yet? No, not yet. Is it hot? It's good. Of course it's good. It's too hot to eat. But mine's better than hers. No, it's not. Mine is better than hers. No. See that greenness in there? That'd be a jalapeno. That is why mine is better than hers. That's exactly why it's not better than mine. Ah, she doesn't know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs>